TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars. <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year. And, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a 50% return in one day not counting uh, everything else but I just want to thank you Tom's not perfect but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small you can take your small losses but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root and you'll hit a home run I mean a big home run yeah and put the money in your pocket okay and I mean, brother I you're awesome man thank you now Tom O'Brien <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks, and it's a great TGIF. It is Independence Day holiday weekend. you got to love it. We'll bring it in with a bang. Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer a fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only a fertile the words that come from love. You either live in love or live in fear, folks, okay? Get rid of the fear. I've done both. Trust me. Living in love is a lot easier than living in fear. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 162, NASDAQ up 100, SPs up 30, gold contract up $14.80, trading 1791 an ounce. We got silver up 52 cents, $26.60 an ounce, light sweet crude flat, $75.34 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note up 14 ticks, trading 132.23, the 30 year up 24 ticks at 160.30, and King Dollar, King Dollar. Down 376 ticks, trading at 92,221. Euros at 118. Yen's at 111. British pounds at 138 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, green paint, Sherman Williams is the hit out here today. You got the spy trading up uh, three bucks, four thirty-three fifty-five. You're at new all-time highs, and we've been talking about the NDX 100 and the bottom line. NDX is leading the at markets higher. He drags up every indice out there, and this little baby right now, even coming into a holiday weekend, uh, has some juice behind it. We got the Qs up three dollars and sixty-three cents. You're trading at three fifty-eight. Your price projection on this ABC. It's 362.85. I suspect we're going to get it. You know, you get three bucks there. You're only five bucks away from it. Inside the composite, composite wants to finish off its ABC structure on the way up, also, folks. And we have inside the composite right now. The composite's trading out here. 14,625. 14,844 is the number. And that being said, what's it, what it was really interesting here, man. So let's look at this for a second because the 29th. That's the 29th. Yeah, 29th. Okay, so let me see something here. Because this may be another ABC, which is going to be a mind blower if it is. So, yeah, we're not going to have the volume. Right now, you know, you get 2.9 billion shares. You're not going to do 4.8. But if we had done 4.8 billion today, then you get an additional ABC structure on the way up. And I know that sounds like, okay, you got one after the other, but when you are in an ABC market, folks, which we are in, the NDX 100 and the NASDAQ is in, they can go one after the other until they don't, and you got to pay attention to it. 
gold. Gold contract out here. The bottom line is that, uh, you know, the jobs number come out. Great, good jobs number, but bottom line, you know, market-wise, okay, what, what ended up happening out here is that, uh, you know, the, 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 the market is saying that, guess what, the uh, Fed is not going to be going up uh, on rates anytime soon. What we have out here is that the gold contract is breaking out of the consolidation that it's in. Uh, it's been in this consolidation for about two weeks. The high of that consolidation is the 1795 uh, level. That's just a spike up there. We're at 1791. We hit the 1795. Now we're hitting that level. We have volume behind the move. That is saying that it wants to break that number. So we'll see where that shakes out. You can see there's a little pop-up on volume. Now that's a really cool thing particularly coming into the, the holiday weekend, folks, because you don't expect to get volume in there. But guess what? More than likely, that's all the shots that have to close their positions because, you know, in four days, we did go from a price point of uh, the 1750 to 1795. That's, that's a monster move inside gold uh, if you in, happen to be in the futures market. The silver market was giving us the indication that it wanted to do it. Silver had come up, tried to take out the consolidation yesterday. Bottom line, took it out today. Uh, we had the silver contract yesterday uh, basically showing the way. Yeah, we, we had yesterday silver contract got up to a price point of the, that uh, 26.52. Now, if you, I, I know most of you listen to, um, you know, every day, and I do appreciate that. What we're talking about yesterday, and this is really cool to understand, folks, is that when you go to a high high and you have volume behind the move and then you give it up on price, most times you go right back to that high. This is something that you want to look at, because that's exactly what had happened today. The reason I'm bringing it up is this. We can basically, you know, teach and show what we think how the market works. What I've found more than anything is this, is that first you have to basically get understanding of, okay, my theory is that this is how it works, okay? So then you see it, and, and whatever theory you have, that's awesome. Keep the theory. Then you want to see it in action. That's, that's, that's why I'm bringing this up, because what ends up happening is that when you see it in action and then you see it over and over again, you know that, okay, man, this is good. It's particularly good when you're looking to get into something. It goes with volume. It backs down with lighter volume, and it's like, oh, thank you, God. This is really cool. I can get in this thing. Bottom line, silver's broken topside, and uh, it's broke the consolidation. That's saying that silver now is going to go make the run. And the way I do this, we're 2660. That is telling me that silver wants to run to 27.64. So what I do is this, folks. At the, at the, when, you, when you break a consolidation like this, right, what happens is that at the lows, the, see, there's another consolidation on top of it that are broken the way down. So what happens there is that most times it's the lower end of that consolidation that's going to be tough to get through. That's how that works. But pretty cool. Now, good old King Dollar. King Dollar, bottom line, could have destroyed... Uh, these metal trades in a second, bottom line, just went the other way. What we had out here with King Dollar, King Dollar got to a price point out here of a 95,741, and then just gave it up. And if we go over to the euro, and we take a look at the euro, you're going to see just the op opposite inside the euro. Euro got down to the 118 level, and you're at 118.68. Bottom line, we'll see whether we get any follow through. And, and by the way, we do need follow through. When we take a look at the 10 year note. The note and bond market, folks, is saying that gold's going to continue to go. Why? Because guess what? I know it's deviant beyond belief, but guess what? Rates are going down, folks. They're buying notes and bonds hand over fist. Right now, you get 1.1 million contracts inside the 10. You're trading 132.23. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com.
TFNN, Educating Investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industries right now up a buck sixty-four. You get the Nasdaq up one hundred five. S and P's are up thirty. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We're going to celebrate July Fourth Independence Day with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. It's a beautiful thing. And of course, don't forget, folks. Every trading day, right here, ten to eleven Eastern Standard Time. Basil has an outstanding show. Also, it's a great newsletter. The opening call. Now. That the, the, bottom, the bottom line, folks, is that uh, when you take a look at and you come over to our website at TFNN, Basil is going to be doing a multi-day webinar. This is going to be, everyone can get in this webinar, folks. It's going to be two full day. well, it's going to be one full day, and that first full day is going to be on July 14th from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Take a break at lunch. Then what Basil's going to do is that you're going to basically send him questions for a couple weeks, and he'll mark up the charts, send it, send it back to you, and then he's going to do a second follow-up on July 28th from 10 to noon. That whole thing encompasses, plus his newsletter, folks, the whole thing is only $295. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. Now, what we also have happening is this, is that right now we have the Tiger Dollar, dollar Sale going on, so as you come over to TFNN, you want to... Uh, basically discount uh, everything, well, you have until July 5th, folks, to, to basically buy Tiger Dolls. And the way Tiger Dolls work, they're good for all products at TFNN. There's no expiration date. They're totally transferable. Bottom line, inside the Tiger Dollar, uh, you can basically buy uh, up to $1,500. Uh, Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. What's going on is we're about to have this long weekend and the market has done its little traditional thing by running into uh, the long weekend of the uh, the July 4th uh, weekend. So this is very important. The market thinks thought, it's St. Patrick's Day, Basil. <laughs> I know. But how many, uh, yeah, over the years, how many times has, has it been a green day for you for gold on St. Patrick's Day? I, it, That's it, amazing. And you, you, what Basil's talking about, and I'm sure we both remember the same one, at the very beginning of this, folks, okay, we started the gold report. Gold was 282.50. The bottom line is that it went from 282.50 to 450. And at 450, what happened is this, folks, okay, it consolidated for a bit. But that's exactly what Basil's talking about. I remember, Basil, you know it's so weird. I remember exactly where it was. I had flown to Boston that day, folks, okay? 
And not that it was St. Patrick's Day that I fly to Boston, okay, but the bottom line is I was at 60th Street Street, and my office used to be right across the street, and I walked outside, and that was St. Patrick's Day, folks. Well, it was the day before it. And gold exploded topside, and that was like, oh, thank off. you, God! Right. That that was amazing, though. I, there's no doubt. It was, <laughs> it was wild, man. I know. Good yeah, and of course, you've got a sale going on now, and there's a sale for t Tiger Dollar. So I thought this would be a very good a time, appropriate time, to have a webinar. But not just one webinar. It's basically my my all day webinar that I usually do. Uh, it's uh, 9 o'clock till 12 o'clock, and then we take a break. Usually we take a break just for a quick bite because we, there are always questions that we go through for people who maybe qu didn't get something in the first part. So we go through it so that for the second part, we're just fresh, we're ready to go. And then we go from uh, 1 o'clock till uh, 4 o'clock, and then 4 to 4.30, we do a kind of a wrap-up to say, all right, what, what, what are we expecting? All the time I ask, what do you want and what are we not getting? What can I help you with so that we can keep getting you comfortable with the whole procedure, the trading procedure? So that's what we do. And then I decided two weeks later, we'll follow up with a live two-hour session. And that would be perfect because people have practiced. They've sent me some uh, emails with some charts of questions. I've been able to answer them. And we can we can go through it, and it'll be it'll it'll be like a like a whole new course, the second course, when you really understand something and you can put it into practice. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. The timing, I think, is perfect. Yes. And I thought, well, I'd just quickly talk about it because it's all very well to say, yeah, man, you, you know, so you big deal. Your your subscribers got the low of of the Dow on the on the low of 23rd of March in 2020. What are you doing for me now? So that, I think, is most important. And over the, this week, I've been speaking to you, and I said to you, in the Chapman Wave methodology, there, there are a couple of patterns that we look at. And I'll just quickly go through them. One here, uh, let me go, there it is. So we're always looking to identify the lowest low bar and then count each successively higher peak. They can go to seven peaks high, but it's alphabetized, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But it's at the fourth highest peak that other things can happen. That's number one. Number two is there's a pattern that I always talk about uh, where the price runs up and then it starts to go with lower highs and much lower lows. Then it forms a kind of a reversal and then it takes out that downtrend line and it can go one to one to the upside. So let me show you. This is live now. This is exactly what I was talking to you about the other day. I said I, we've already done that. I call it the falling axe pattern with that declining trend line. I said I liked it very much and I decided we were going to add back some a little bit of pro, uh, money we've taken off from the Dow Diamonds over the big, big rally that we've had from the low of um, March uh, 23rd. Um, and so what I was looking for that was last year was to add back because it just seemed to me going with, with, the, with the index is really the most comfortable thing. So when the nine period was about to cross over to a positive in the over the 14 period moving average, I said to subscribers, let's buy at this little dip, and we managed to buy it uh, either at the open or pre-open, and we've had this huge run-up. Look at these three big candles, and now what I have is I can show you live. I showed you the other day. There's this one-to-one -one expansion to the upside. That's exactly what I was talking about in the pattern. So we'll study these patterns. We'll show how they work. This is this is live. Look, there's that big green bar, and that's really important. Look, the MAGD cross positive stochastic now is 86%. All of these techniques, I'll show this now. I, I did this during my show this morning. Uh, we were just about to go to a peak D. We pulled back. This is the one-minute chart, fourth highest peak, peak D is where other things can happen. Look what happened. We went to peak D, and then there was that sharp decline. I'll explain how you can, how this green line can keep you in a trade a lot longer than you ever imagined. And when it changes color, why it changes color, what happens, starts to decline, when it goes back to green, how important is it? And what's really fascinating, we'll do this live, if at 3.31 this afternoon on my 120-minute chart, if we on the Dow haven't taken out uh, 34,811.96, if there is a rally into the close, we don't know if there will be, but the, if there is, that'll start a leg D up in the 120-minute chart. We're always looking for Ds. Look at this D right here. Dow made a peak D at 35,091. It's all-time high in the 10th. Look at that pullback. We haven't broken above it yet. So this is what I'm just showing you live. I like to, I like things to be um, um, on the, right on the spot so that you're not looking. You know, when you look back, you can always look historically back and be perfect. This is where we, this is the test. So 
I'm showing you exactly what we're looking at. I told you about that peak C in the monthly chart. We had to wait for yes. July to see if we didn't break out. We didn't. So now we've got peak C. There should still be a leg D. I spoke to you about the S&P, how important it was. If even for one second, the very first day of July, if we went to a new high, that extended the leg B in the monthly chart, which means that the S&P is very bullish because you still have to make a peak B, then a leg C higher high, then a peak C and then a leg D high. So these are all the things I expect. And I just showed you, it doesn't matter whether it's the one minute chart or a monthly chart, the patterns remain the same. Just like you look at volume, it doesn't matter where it is or what it is, volume counts. In this case, I use on balance volume and you can see here. So it's, it's a very exciting time. Come over to our website at TFNN, folks. You're going to see it right under featured content. You can see our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, on the right-hand side. Basil Chapman, live, multi-day webinar. Just hit that button and you are off to the races, riding that wave. Basil, you have a great weekend, safe weekend, and we look forward to speaking in, uh, on the program next Tuesday. Thank you, and a happy, uh, happy fourth happy to you fourth. and everyone else. That's right. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors Tom O'Brien has just published his 1,000th gold report. It's amazing to think that Tom has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 20 years. To celebrate the 1,000th issue of Tom O'Brien's gold report, we've just launched a Tiger Dollar sale, which runs for two weeks only through July 4th weekend. We've doubled all the Tiger Dollar bonuses, where you can now get up to a 40% bonus on your purchase. But that's not all. Inflation is here, and the price of the gold report is going up after July 4th. Right now, you can lock in the Gold Report at the current pricing of $97 a month for as long as you remain a subscriber. This deal won't come around again. Get your Tiger Dollars today and apply them to the Gold Report before the price goes up on July 5th. Tiger Dollars never expire and are good for any TFNN newsletter or service as a great way to add savings. Head on over to the front page of TFNN.com for all the details and help us celebrate Tom O'Brien's 1,000th Gold Report. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 155. Nasdaq's up 110. S&Ps are up 31. And we go look at the Dow, folks. Again, the Dow stopped moving out this week. And the bottom line, <laughs> I expect this will coming into next week. This thing's going to just try to take out its highs. You know, right now... You get the last swing point up here, the last closing swing. Let's see where we're at. The closing swing was uh, 6.30. So you're going to finish over the closing swing. In fact, let's look at this. Seven. Yeah, so check this out. This is actually, if we finish where we're at, 
770. Yeah, if we finish where we're at, this is actually going to be a closing high for the Dow. The Dow had made it as high as the uh, 35,091, but it closed that day at uh, 742. And right now you're at 793. So uh, bottom line, that is saying higher prices are coming at you. Let's go take a look at Heckler for uh, some of the tigers and tigresses. So Heckla, big silver stock, okay? Low in Heckla. There we go. The low in Heckler is uh, 314. The high is 944. Uh, this is a really large silver company. does really well. They take in $834 million a year. They bring $0.52 cents to the bottom line. And I like the setup. You know, what we have inside the gold and silver market, folks, is this. Is that the... I would say that we have the equities that are stabilized. That's kind of like where it is, okay? And what that specifically means when I say stabilized, it's like, okay, they broke a swing low. They did it with light volume. They came back from that. They built cars for four or five days. You can see what Heckler did today. 735 is the low. Rejected it. 751 is where it's at right now. Anything inside 743 is saying it wants to go higher. And I suspect that's exactly what we're going to get. Let's go take a look at a few of the other silver stocks. If we look at First Majestic, that didn't come down as much. That's up 13 cents. Not bad. Pan American Silver, which is also another strong silver stock. That's done the same thing. And the way this is set up, folks, is that it's saying that let's go. Now, this one's highly volatile. Um, let's see what this one's doing. Okay, so Endeavor, sideways, uh, it's up 10 cents. Uh, bottom line is that we should get follow through next week, and the first follow through that we actually get should actually really get some movement going. Because what you're going to see here is that this is the first day that looks like silver is going to close over its consolidation. I don't think gold is. Gold is fluctuating between up $13 and $15. It's got to be up about $20 to get over that consolidation. That being said, um, what I do expect we're going to see is that next week we'll get some follow-through. you got to remember something. you get the 4th of July. You're going to be coming back. The, the funds are still going to be buying for a couple days. Then we'll see where the rest of this goes. Uh, if we go, let's go, let, let's go take a look at the yen. So the, the yen, folks, okay, and if you remember yesterday I was saying, man, this is amazing that gold's not getting smoked because the yen had broken topside. Well, the yen gave it up again today. Now, when I say gave it up, we went from uh, 111.53 down to 111. And it actually has to get inside 110.97. Now, I know we're only talking a few ticks, but a few ticks make a difference because what happens is when you break topside, it's a normal that you come back to the breakout area. So right now, the yen is just acting that, okay, I'm cool with where I've been. Now, that being said, if we get over and we take a look at the Nikkei, the Nikkei last night was up 76 bucks. Um, not bad. Sideways move. If, in fact, the yen is going to come down on price, and that means the yen gets stronger, then we'll see the Nikkei move down. And we do have a shot at that. The reason I'm saying we have a shot at that is that what we do have from a couple of weeks ago, that's when the Nikkei got smoked. And you had some volume on the way down. The Nikkei got into this uh, 27,000 area. Now, what we also had happen last night, and this is really unusual, that our markets just continued higher. Um, the Hang Seng got smoked, as did the Shanghai and the CSI. I mean, they came down hard, man. You're talking about 1.7% to 3%. And if, you know, take a look at, I got the uh, CSI 300 up here right now. And you take a look at this baby, and you're talking about some, uh, let's see. Yeah, I get the volume. So it's 13 billion. Yeah, going into 14. Okay, so it didn't, it didn't, it's not breaking a swing with volume. But you had some real action there, man, on the way down. Some of the higher volume equities that, well, here. First off, let's go take a look at a couple of the king dogs. Let's go to Amazon first. We take a look at Amazon. Oh, there she goes again, man. Amazon has this high volume high, folks, that hasn't got tested yet. It's going to get tested. We just missed it a week, a week ago. Uh, that high volume high out there is uh, 35,554. Uh, right now, you're at 34,99. And I suspect what's happening, which is pretty cool, is that Amazon is waiting for its new CEO. Uh, Bezos, 
Uh, last day is going to be uh, July 4th, I believe. This guy takes over CEO July 5th. For all general purposes, I'm sure he's already taken it over. Uh, bottom line is that uh, this is the guy, he's 53 years old, okay? Bottom line, Andy uh, Jazzy. Uh, and the bottom line is that this is the guy, folks, that was in charge of AWS and started AWS. So you can imagine uh, <laughs> the uh, bottom line is that that turned into just a monster business for Amazon. Uh, and this guy, just has, he still runs the business. Bottom line, um, pretty cool uh, all around. Some of the higher volume equities out here in this marketplace as we kick into the fourth. Uh, Virgin Galactic uh, is uh, going to beat uh, uh, Bezos up to space by a few days. He came out this morning claiming that uh, no, it's not about a race. <laughs> it's just so funny, man. It, it's so weird when these people just lie straight out. It's like, why even do it, man? Just tell them, that, yeah, I want to beat you. Who cares? Okay? Because he, he made a statement. Oh, no, no, this is, um, this, is, this is nothing about a space race or who goes first. That is such a lie. It's disgusting. Anyway, it is what it is. Bottom line, Virgin Galactic is going to uh, be up in space before uh, Bezos is by uh, two or three days. So... Good luck to them. Some of the other high volume stocks out here. You get Apple up two dollars and thirty nine cents. Advanced Micros up a buck and a half. We have uh, what else? Tesla. Tesla's uh, eighty one cents. No big deal. Oh, look at this! Holy cow! Microsoft to the moon. Whoa! Look at this! Oh man! Whatever. You, you just gotta love it. Look at this man. Microsoft just took off like a rocket ship. I I was, I was talking to you about the the aspect of you know, the NDX 100 is so strong, folks. It's amazing. I mean, if one stock gives it up, the next stock comes in. Bottom line, Microsoft is putting big juice into the NDX 100 today. There's no doubt about it. Uh, the strength inside the NDX, Microsoft up 2%. Oh, Google also. Look at this. Google's up $54. Man, the NDX 100 rules. Look at that. And Google, yeah, there's no doubt. Pretty amazing. And, <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So then you got Xilinx is up 2%, Amazon's up 1.9. Taken away from it, Baidu's down 2, Pinduoduo is off uh, 1.9. Market wise, I suspect they're going to run right into the close. And uh, you stay right there, folks. Uh, coming up next, you're going to dig this, man. I got a great guest. Uh, bottom line, we are going to be talking about Space Force. We're going to be talking about uh, cloud computing solutions for the next generation of satellites. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Let's go to space, man. Let's go. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 150. You got the Nasdaq up 112. S&Ps are up 31. Our guest today, folks, is Michael Spitek. Michael is the co-founder and president of Detraxi. Now, Detraxi, folks, is spelled D-E-T-R-A-X-I. Website is D-E-T-R-A-X-I dot I-O. Uh, this is a St. based, uh, this is a St. Peter's based company offering cloud solutions for the next generation of satellites. They're currently competing for a Space Force contract after receiving a small business research grant from the Space Force. And when we start talking disruptive architecture, disruptive technology, uh, that's what it looks to me like this company's all about. Michael, welcome to TFNN. Thank you very much. Very nice to meet you. Thanks it's, for having it's me. It's great for you coming on, man. I was going through your website here. today, man. This is so cool, man. I need more than nine minutes for you, but let's get what we can get in nine minutes. Yeah, you, you just said it all. You got us right dialed in. You know, it's about disruption. It's about innovation. It's about bringing something new and exciting and, and some options out to a, an industry that, frankly, needs them. Yes. So tell us, right now, satellites and national security, where do we stand with that right now? It's a very good question. We we stand at a moment where, you know, the government, the Department of Defense is looking for innovation. They're changing the ways not only that they do business, but the way uh, these entities all the way out to the software defined and the software enabled warfighter uh, works. Uh, you'll see a lot of, uh, of stuff out there about, uh, you know, the Deep Department of Defense, the Space Force, the various yes. elements moving over to the cloud moving their, their infrastructure, cloud enabling and virtualizing a lot of things, and our industry uh, is going to keep up. So the, the way uh, that uh, these warfighters, elements and sensors out in the field communicate are changing, and our industry is changing quickly uh, as part of that. Now, now, how is cloud computing going to give us an edge in this, in this whole national defense deal? Well, <laughs> in terms of satellite, uh, you know, cloud is playing catch up to some extent. In cloud computing, the satellite industry has only really been involved on the edges. It's utilized cloud computing as a little piece of the puzzle. And as the DOD moves some of its real core functionality into the cloud, our industry has to do the same. And it really has it. They put little pieces here and there. They've done some connectivity with the cloud, but what they haven't done is move some core virtualized true infrastructural satellite functions to the cloud and that's what Detraxi is all about and when that's accomplished we're going to stand side by side in parallel with uh, the department of defense's uh, cloud capabilities very very um in very good lineup and now folks when you go to his website and it's detraxi.io so remember it's io d-e-t-r-a-x-i-o it's really cool when you go to the architecture part you're going to see disruptive architecture and you know what's so interesting, uh, Michael, is that, you know, you got uh, Jazzy taking over for Jeff Bezos on Tuesday, right? And when you read that whole deal about cloud computing between
visual, I mean, because well, it's a virtual deal that we're talking about, right? I mean, first off, if, if the listeners and the watchers don't know, uh, virtualization and cloud computing, AWS, Microsoft Azure, or Google Cloud Platform have changed the way we live our lives. They've yes. changed everything, everything. If you don't know, you can start looking into those elements. And they brought down the cost. The, the company that we started back in St. Petersburg in 2002, I used to go into big data centers down in Miami and we would spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on, on infrastructure, on servers, on satellite modem infrastructure, on all these elements. We had to buy all these super expensive hard pieces of metal. You don't have to do that anymore. And when you've done that, guess what? They're not that flexible. They're not that, you know, you pick up and have to move that stuff. You have to replicate it elsewhere. You're spending tons of amounts of money. But on top of that, that every function that we do in our daily lives, from banking to email, everything, it's all virtualizing cloud hosts. Those companies are massive, massive impacts on our life. And the interesting part, is the, the satellite industry is a niche of a niche of a niche, and we've kind of been a holdout. You know, uh, 10 years ago, the satellite industry was really locked up in no more than a, a dozen very large companies, and those companies, you know, obviously wanted to keep their piece of the pie and their businesses, uh, you know, profitable and moving sure. forward. But a lot of that positioning and the result of that as a kind of stifled innovation in our tiny, tiny little sector. Well democratization is, is coming and democratization of space and what we call space 2.0 is here. And a big part of that power is virtualization. It's also um, accessibility, accessibility to space and accessibility to capital and investment. There's a lot of companies coming to bear. Uh, we read weekly about companies getting funded in our sector and it's really exciting. The companies that are, that are out there and following in the footsteps of some guys that have really kind of broken the glass ceiling in the last 10 years in our industry. So now, how it's did a great you, time to be in How did you get in this business? How did you get in this business? Oh, God. <laughs> Do you remember the old days? Uh, I think you would remember in the 1990s uh, when a phone call cost $3 a minute to call internationally. Yes, yeah, for sure. And then in the blink of an eye, it cost ten uh, $10 a second. You know, I'm sorry, 10 cents a minute. Yes. In, in our calling cards. We sure. were part of that. That was an early space-based democratization where we would go out and build satellite antennas and infrastructure uh, in these countries. And you know there would be competition where there was no competition before. And once those big entities, the, the major phone companies that were making millions and billions off of international long distance, once there was true competition, in this case, enabled by space, look what happened to that industry. And that's really how we got into it. It was actually a hurricane down in the Caribbean that knocked out long distance communications for more than a year. And uh, my brother was down in the Caribbean. I was here in Miami at the time. And uh, we picked up the yellow pages and started calling around and figuring out how to do satellite. That is so cool. So now let me let me ask you. So you, you have, you got a grant, you know, from the Space Force to basically get something going. So you, you're taking that grant money and what is your goal right now? Well, our goal at the moment uh, is to uh, socialize and introduce our technology around the Space Force, find uh, individual elements of the Space Force and define, help uh, understand what their problems are and how our technology can positively impact. And that's been a very, very informative and positive uh, uh, evolution here in the last two months that we've been doing with the, in, in feeling around the Space Force. Our next phase uh, if we're successful in the Space Force pitch day in, in August, is to actually make a demonstration of a real Space Force traffic across our virtualized elements. And what uh, we're doing is actually taking all those expensive pieces of hardware out of their very, very expensive places where they live today and access space, and we're going to move all those pieces of the cloud. It's happening here and there in little pieces, but it's not happening holistically in one overall architecture. And that's what we're working towards. And we've had a lot of, uh, of positive uh, traction forward. We've got a plan going forward and a technology roadmap and it's, it's all green lights. We just have to uh, find the adoption and we're hoping that uh, the United States Space Force can really help us open some doors.
Well, congratulations. I, I think you, I think you're gonna score here, man. I mean, I went I went through your website. Yeah. We'll make sure you pump out there, man. It's you, you have a great idea, man. And you know, it, for for the normal like I'm not a, a, a geek, okay. But the bottom line, it's hard to understand. But because of cloud computing, I think we more can more of us can understand it every day. You know, which is so cool. You have a well, great we love fourth, to talk, uh, safe we love fourth. To talk space. So whenever you're ready to talk space more, we're we happy are to. gonna do it, Sharpening man. Your have skills a great as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave. Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up by 175. NASDAQ is up 119. S&Ps are up 34. And uh, just even the spy, folks, okay, the bottom line is that you can see that you know, when you get breakouts, the bottom line, that the further you break away from the breakout area, you know, the, the game is on. And, and in, in this particular case, it, it's, it's not only on, it's, it's in the second, third inning. We're at 43-46, 43-28 was the number. Uh, so the bottom line is that, uh, what, what 18, 18 bucks? No, 42. Where, where are you at? 42-38 was the breakout. That's the real bottom line. You, you're just way above it. NQs. NQs, same type of setup inside the NQs. NQs right now, a buck 75. Check that out, man. Oh, my God. A buck 75. So what's intriguing here, this is going to be wild. Watch this. If this is going to be another ABC structure inside an ABC, it's going to be unbelievable. And it, it, you know what? They might get the volume. You can get the volume. How many more minutes we got here? Yeah, I don't think we can get the volume. Seven minutes. 
We need 7 million shares in seven minutes. You never know, man. Uh, and the queues, the queues can do that. Most of the time, it does three or four uh, at the last uh, few minutes. But guess what? If there's too many people trapped on the other side of this, and, and it, so check this out, folks. If we get that, then you're going to have another ABC, and this one's going to be sick. This one's going to be 37. Oh, my God. It's, it is, it's an 18, which is going to give you 370. What's the first one? We're 360, 285 right now. To get the volume, it's going to be 370. Bottom line, it's St. Patrick's Day on Independence Day. Listen, folks, everyone have a great weekend, safe weekend. Please be safe. No drinking and driving. Have a good freaking time. Explode huge amounts of firecrackers, man. If your neighbors complain, tell them to go take a freaking hike, okay? The bottom line, it's the 4th of July. It's time to have some fun. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Come back and visit us Tuesday morning. Tommy kicks us off. 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Look at him, folks.